morning, Britain hoping to find her voice again. The Prime Minister will warn EU leaders that Britain will not make any more Brexit concessions. But can she fight off course to sack the Chancellor and the Foreign Secretary? Is the Scottish independence dream over? Talk of a second referendum strictly off the agenda of the SNP conference as the party struggles to recover from a disastrous election. Nicola Sturgeon joins us live after seven. Outrage over a racist advert that appears to show a black woman turning white after using body wash. Dove have apologised, but this morning there are calls to boycott the brand. And the mean girls' culture that destroys sex in the city. Kim Cattrall reveals the truth behind the rumours that she killed of a third movie and points the finger straight at one of her former co-stars. Specifically Sarah Jessica Parker is that I think she could have been nicer. Monday, 9th of October, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Good morning, Britain. Just gone six o'clock. Uh, well, there's so much to talk about. First of all, uh, Top Gun, to my yeah. right. Definitely a better performance. Thank you for your Although I thought your rise and fall critique. was a little bit suspect. <laughs> I've no idea what rise Look, and fall is. There's no rise and fall there, thought, is there? A, I thought you looked great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, secondly, I thought you danced a lot better. Let's give credit where it's due. <laughs> but the judges... Didn't like it anyway. No. I know. I think, what's so the head judge's name? Shirley. 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 I tried She's to come a back piece of work, Shirley, isn't she? She doesn't like it. No, I don't think she does. She likes really. the good-looking guys. I've noticed that <laughs> yeah. she does. Doesn't like the pretty girls, likes the good-looking guys, and she's going to try and knife you, and I'm going to stop her doing it. <laughs> but she doesn't. She's got a thing about you. Well, I tried my hardest. I really tried, because I let's, had to come back fighting. Let's listen to Shirley. Not good enough. Here's her withering criticism. So we have to make a concrete decision not to use Rise and Fall. So no rise and fall um, for me. I'm really intended. sorry. There was no rise and fall in that Well, you should play it back, Brendan, because I will, is... my dear. I will. I will. When we do a, a tango and there is no rise and fall, I'm not going to just stand here and go, OK, surely I'll do that. I, okay, I don't think well, there was uh, any rise and fall. We did a, a, a fairly good uh, routine. I, I messed up, unfortunately. That was me. I'll hold my hand up. You know, he does. He looked a bit like Maverick and he behaved like Maverick. <laughs> he's fighting That's a, back. It's the kind of thing Maverick would do. And he'd get in his gun and he'd go down the hard deck and he'd start <laughs> killing people. Uh, and I was thinking, you know, I mean, I didn't deliberately put any rise and fall in. I was like, no idea, don't ask me. You do not know what rise and fall is, no. do you? <laughs> um, I've no idea what rise and fall is, but whatever it was, you looked fine to me, Charlotte. Anyway, Thank you, Pete. Today, we're going to go to war with Shirley. Uh, she is a sour-faced sure creature sure who needs wise? to be repelled. Yes, no, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, we're coming I'm not, after her. I'm not... Not sure we're that's definitely help. we're definitely all for Charlotte and and <laughs> fighting the good battle. I think and we need all, to pick our battles. We're all so. for Charlotte and we're <laughs> for Shirley. We're coming for you. You take on one of ours. We hunt as a pack on this show. <laughs> uh, now the most interesting interview I'm looking forward to today, by the way, Paul Potts, uh, who ten years ago, can you believe that? Was, was the Britain's Got Talent auditioned. And who was the judge when he won, Piers? Somebody, in those days, you know, you had judges who understood what world-class talent would be <laughs> and discovered it, um, unlike Shirley. Uh, so here's, here he is. That was it, I remember that moment. Simon looking about 100. Amanda looking Botoxed. And, <laughs> and that was before the Botox. And where am I? Oh, we come cut on. you out of this, well, Don't tell me. That's not me. It's an audience member. There's two of Amanda. It's not one of Simon Cowell's edits, this. Where, where am I? Hey! I've got to say, I think I've aged the most naturally of all three of us. Definitely aged the most naturally. But here's the most interesting thing. So, Paul Potts, as we all can know... Can I just say, you all look really bored <laughs> in that performance. <laughs> really? Yeah. We're, just, we're not as easily impressed as you are by everything. Oh, great dance, lovely dance. And behind the scenes, terrible. Um, I'm more of a... I've never said that in my life. I'm more of a stab you in the front kind of guy. Um, the <laughs> interesting thing about Paul Potts, though, is so he used to stack shelves in Tesco's, right, in a well-known supermarket that's as good as all the others. Is that what we have to say? And um, Other supermarkets <laughs> are available. And there were two people stacking shelves in that Tesco. Alongside each other. Right? And Coming they worked along. alongside each other. They were buddies. They used to talk about their dreams, their aspirations. <laughs> one became one of the biggest global singing stars on the planet and is huge around the world. The other was Alex Berenson. <laughs> <laughs> 
true really story. Clever. True story. And that yeah. is a true Amazing. story. It is, yeah, yeah. We stacked at shelves on wines and spirits in Tesco's. That and is, uh, what do you it, mean? I mean, before we, before we talk to <laughs> There we are, yeah, there we are. <laughs> that is amazing. I know, it's, it's incredible. I mean, and he always used to sing on the aisle really? as he was Aww. replenishing the shelves. Uh, and he used to tell people that he was going to be an opera singer, and everyone used to say, yeah, whatever, whatever. And he did. And did you say, I'm going to be a weatherman? Yeah. They all went, yeah, we probably think you are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's you a great what? story and we're going to reunite yes. uh, Alex and Paul Potts later because it's a great story I love Paul Potts I've known him obviously since that audition great guy uh, had a wonderful career since that uh, a real example of a bloke who really came from nowhere and became a global star talking of which um, oh my goodness before we even get to the news but there was a uh, there was a little furore going on at the weekend, wasn't there? I can't remember what it was about now. Which but one? It was, it was <laughs> you, you posting for? pictures oh, of yeah, yourself I got... au naturel with your, with your birthmark. That's right, because going... a uh, uh, tweeter had complained that when I post my own natural mm. pictures without filters and without makeup, I don't show the side which has my birthmark on. Yeah. So I tweeted a picture yeah. of my birthmark. Which we don't have, but luckily what well, we no, do but, have... No, but what we do have is my face, yeah. <laughs> luckily. Yeah. Um, Which has got a distinctly unsightly birthmark. Yeah. I mean, it's really in the flesh, quite shocking. Yeah. There it is, yeah. Can you see it? It's a hideous imperfection, go. which is one yeah. of the reasons I like you, actually. I like imperfections. But uh, as a result, people... I, I posted a picture of myself posing a la oh. Burt Almost Reynolds. naked. Yeah, Almost. I love Burt Reynolds. Um, and there were calls for it to be turned into a calendar by, <laughs> by, by my female fans. So someone like Good Morning Britain has indeed turned it into a calendar. <laughs> and there is for, for every... I'm actually seriously going to put this out at Christmas. And for every one of you, there's one for every, every month. I think that one in particular. <laughs> there we are. That's, that. that's, uh, let's go. Where are we here? March. Me with my Oscars. Oscars. <laughs> there we are. So they're all there. There's 12 glittering pictures of me led by this. Uh, it'll be available in all cheap bookshops at Christmas. Uh, probably about 50p, I should think. But yeah. but um, yeah, very happy, very proud of my work. And now we're all feeling rather warm. Let's find out what the weather's doing with Alex. Uh, hello, good morning. Yes, it is going to be a fairly dry day for much of the UK. Some breaks in the cloud, but also a few showers coming in from the northwest. Nothing really to worry about, and it will be getting mild as we head through this week. More on all of this in around 20 minutes. <laughs> He's just a weatherman after all. <laughs> but one of the best. <laughs> he wished he was stacking shelves. He and that's where Piers will end that. up after Instead, I'm done with him. <laughs> <laughs> it is always a mistake when Piers Morgan has had eight hours of sleep. I did. Sleep. I really get sleep and that's bad news for everybody working with me today. It is eight minutes eight past minutes six. eight minutes past six means the entire rundown is completely shot to pieces. <laughs> But hey, you know what? That's the way we roll on this show. Our main news this morning, the Prime Minister will tell MPs...